Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. I wanted to give you guys a video today about Player of the Month. You're like, dude, why are we talking about Premier League Player of the Month and it's February 5th, February 6th, and this Player of the Month, Trent Alexander-Arnold, still has six day, days left. Why are we talking about this SBC? Well, the voting has come and it's actually gone. Player of the Month for January, the voting has actually been closed already and i think that this player of the month is actually going to come out on friday when we also have the second set of um future stars so i think premier league player of the month is coming out on friday and i want to talk a little bit about that and talk through this sbc they have overlapped player of the months in the past i believe it, it might have been either ben yetter or timo Ver it wasn't timo verner but there was a player of the month sbc that they overlapped by like a day or so where both of them were out um, and I think that that's going to happen again with the Trent Alexander Arnold SBC and the SBC coming this weekend because um, it, what they do with these player of the months a lot of time is EA doesn't really decide when this award is given out, right? It's like up to the Premier League to give out this award. So, you know, they could just, the Premier League could have decided to give it out a little bit earlier this month instead of last month because if they would wait until next week, then we're like on the verge of Champions League stuff. So I think they're just trying to give these awards to the players that could win it while they're around. So let's take a look at this voting and possibly how to invest in these. And uh, just kind of honestly, there's some interesting stuff with this player of the month. It's going to come down to two different people that I think are going to win this one. Uh, and as you can see, the voting is closed. It says January's player of the month vote will be announced soon. They announced the vote on January 31st is actually when they announced this vote and put it out and they closed it on Tuesday. So what is that? Tuesday was the fourth, right? Today is uh, Thursday. Uh, good luck with your weekend league rewards, by the way, if you're opening those this morning or today. But uh, they closed this voting already and that is making me think that's one of the main reasons why I think that this player of the month is going to be on Friday. If it isn't, oh well, we wait another week and all is fine with the world. Uh, and this video still applies, but I think that this video, that this play of the month is going to be on Friday, and that's why I want to make this video today. So, our nominees are Aguero, Ducore, Grealish, Henderson, Ayos Perez, and Stevens. Uh, and again, here's a short list right here. If you couldn't see all those guys, they're behind my face cam. There's really only two guys that we have to worry about, and two guys that are in the running for the player of the month this month, and that is Aguero and Allison. And you're like, wait. Allison, a goalkeeper winning player of the month? Yes, we're going to talk about that in a second. But it comes down between these two guys, Aguero and Allison. Aguero, in the month of January, played three games. They had two wins, one draw. And of course, he scored six goals and became the, the leading foreign goal scorer in the Premier League, getting himself this record breaker card right here. So, this record breaker card was from earlier this month, or earlier last month in January. So Aguero seems to be like a front runner for this month's player of the month, in my opinion. Um, but I don't want to leave out Allison. Here's why. When we look at Allison's stats, we obviously know how Liverpool have been on an incredible, incredible form, right? They won five games in the month of January. Uh, Allison had four clean sheets out of those five games and one assist. And if you remember that assist, it was a beautiful assist. Um, the pass blazing past everybody up the field to a, a running Salah. Um, as it says right here, he provided a superb assist um, against Manchester United to Mohamed Salah for that win. And then, uh, yeah, so he had only one game that was not a clean sheet, and he also made crucial saves in that one game against Wolverhampton. So I think it is possible that Allison wins player of the month. And that's, that will be, here's a little bit of, I talked about this way back when I thought Dean Henderson was going to win player of the month. But we're going to take you guys back to 2016 to win the last time a goalkeeper won player of the month. F Frazier Forster um, won it, and that was the first time since 2013. So like every three years, a goalkeeper wins player of the month. But I want to show you the stats that Frazier Forster had to win player of the month. He had three clean sheets, uh, and then Southampton picked up seven points from their four matches. Uh, and they said he had some he had some really awesome saves. And then before that, of course, we had Tim Krul, as I mentioned. And he had, um, uh, what did he say, four successful victories, including two clean sheets and 14 saves in one game. So that was kind of like a record-breaking performance from him. But based on the stats I see from Allison, I think that Allison has a shot at this month's Player of the Month. So we're going to talk about either Allison 
or Aguero winning. We're going to talk about both of those players um, because I have a hunch that's going to be Aguero. I feel on the inside it's, it's going to be Aguero, but I also think Allison has a shot just because of the fact that Liverpool have been playing mental. So um, we'll talk about both of those today. What would those cards look like if they get player of the month? I obviously just showed you the Aguero card. Uh, his record breaker version, which I think is like 400, it's like 560,000 coins. Um, other than that, the only other special version that Aguero has is an inform. And he also has a team of the year nominee. Actually, he's got more special versions than I thought. He's got a team of the year nominee. He's got the inform. He's got the record breaker and he has the scream card. And right now the scream card is the best version. Technically it is 91 rated along with this record breaker Aguero, but the scream card has plus four pace and plus five physical on top of this record breaker. So what would uh, player of the month Aguero look like? I'm guessing he would be 92 rated. He'd probably have like 86 pace, 93 shooting. He would probably get plus ones and plus twos in all of these stat categories. So it would be a little bit of an upgrade, not too much. How much would that SBC cost? Probably somewhere in the range around 600 to 700,000 coins in my opinion. What they've been doing with player of the month this year is they really they really haven't been doing anything spectacular, right? Like making an investing video like I'm talking about today for a player of the month SBC, really all it is is I'm going to tell you to buy Premier League players that are, are like if they're low enough, you know, like some SBC fodder Premier League players and like prem informs, like and also the nationality related to whoever's winning. Like that's the only stuff that we can do to invest in these SBCs anymore because they don't make these player of the month SBCs like they used to, right? We used to have like um, complete this SBC because Trent Alexander Arnold had two assists in this game against um, whatever team. Uh, and then you would have to put in somebody from that team. So I could say, okay, during the month they played against Leicester City. Let's go pick up a couple Leicester City. Uh, rare golds and throw them in, the, in the, the club. But you really can't do that anymore because these SBCs are all just high rated SBCs and uh, maybe like a Premier League player requirement, one player from Liverpool or whatever. So these SBCs are really bland and that's not as fun, um, but they're still investable, especially because we have some uh, cards right now on the market that are decently low. So before we go look at some investments for both of these cards, I wanna look at Allison as well. If Allison wins player of the month, what is this card going to look like? Uh, he's got the 90 rated team of the year nominee at the moment. I would guess that a player of the month, Allison, will be 92 rated. Um, and it would definitely not be as good as this team of the year, Allison, which I think is like 400 something thousand coins ish. Let me check on Footbin right now. Team of the year, Allison, is. He is 455,000 coins for a team of the year goalkeeper. So if they made a player of the month, Allison, if they wanted anybody to do it, uh, then it's probably going to be a 91 rated card and they're going to have to make it like 150k at the very most because I don't think anybody else would do it if it wasn't that cheap. So that's the, the move with Allison. I'm kind of hoping it's Aguero because a lot more people would, I feel like, would do an Aguero than they would do an Allison. But uh, I think that we can make investments that cover both of these cards. So let's talk about the more investing side of things and what kind of stuff I could see you guys getting into in terms of buys for these cards. Now, for a lot of these SBCs, if Aguero comes out and he's gonna be seven to 800,000 coins, a good kind of uh, barrier that we could use to f compare him to a past SBC would be this Mane SBC. Player of the Month Sadio Mane came out a couple months ago. He was Player of the Month for December. I think it was December? Yeah, it was December. This SBC was around 700 to 800K when it was out as well. You see here, 790. Uh, it jumped up big time there in December, but for the most part, it was like 800,000 coins to around 750 K ish is what this SBC costed. And what did it require you to put out? I think you have like an 86, 87 and 88 rated squad. And I think these two squads here, one of them is an 86 rated squad. And the other one is what's this other squad. So we have two 86s an 87 and an 88 and an 85 as well. So an 85 with an inform an 86 uh, and then an 87, 88, 86, 87, and 88. So that's around 700 to 800,000 coins. So I would expect a very, very similar type of SBC for the Aguero card. And obviously if we're investing, uh, if Aguero is gonna be that person that comes out, what are they gonna require? They're probably going to require uh, maybe a Manchester City player, definitely Premier League players, and then possibly an Argentine as well. It would make sense that if they required an Argentine player because he broke the record for the most goals scored for a player outside 
of of foreign nationality other than England playing in the English Premier League. So I would expect an Argentine requirement. So when we're looking at some high rated goals to invest in, I'm going to say we want to focus on mostly 85s and up, probably most probably 86s and 87s to be honest, because those those cards would be used in any SBC rating rating ranging from 85 to like 88. So that seems like a good sweet spot. Some of the guys that I like right off the bat uh, would be any city players that you can find in this kind of like cheapest zone. You know, city players usually aren't the cheapest in terms of cheapest players by rating, but a, a guy like Bernardo Silva or a guy like Fernandinho, this is where you could pick up some players and Ederson as well. Ederson would be a good investment for either Allison or um, Aguero if Aguero comes out because obviously he's... Um, he is Brazilian, but a guy like Bernardo Silva might be a big time investment, especially because of the fact that he's a right wing. And it all depends on what formation they use for this uh, player of the month SBC. But a Bernardo Silva at 21,000 coins, 87s right now at 21,000 coins are not that expensive at all. These are pretty cheap. And uh, I'm a fan of these for a club stock anyway. So if you're looking to club stock some cards in your club, high rated, it's like you think a mid icon SBC is coming or whatever. Maybe you get on some open bids, but these cards are low again. We did a club stock earlier this week. EA has not released any more SBCs, but I do think these cards are investable in. 87s like a Bernardo Silva at 21K is fantastic. I would throw Fernandinho in that mix as well. Try to get Fernandinho for around 21,000 coins if you can. Uh, he, he's, again, like a double investment for if Allison or if Aguero would come out since he is Brazilian and from Manchester City in the Premier League. Uh, and that's a CDM card, so we can be used in any of the midfield positions for an SBC. Uh, and then, of course, Ederson as well, 88 rated cards. Um, you know, when you're, when you're investing in some of these right now, if you're investing for this player of the month that you think is coming out on a Friday, like I do, you're also kind of investing for like a mid-icon SBC as well, because if that SBC comes out in the next few days, then you're probably going to make some coins off of this as well. So Ederson at 28, actually like 27 or 26K would be ideal for me. You can look to pick these cards up in the rewards time period as well. There's gonna be a lot of packs opened, I think. Some people might save their packs, but uh, I'm, I'm sure there'll be a lot of people that don't. So like 27, 26,000 coins, maybe even lower on bid for some of these guys would be perfect. And then, um, yeah, just basically any Prem, um, Prem high rated, that's 85 or above, would be a decent shout as well. Obviously, you can use this page over here on Footbin. This is, uh, I'll put the link to this page in the description so you guys can find it. This is the easiest way to find high rated cards on Footbin. You just click on the players drop down up here at the top. You go down, or excuse me, you click on the SBC icon on the top row of footbin.com. You go down to cheapest players by rating, and that takes you here. Also, what you can do on this page is you can sort by informs, right? So I'm gonna click on gold inform apply filter. And then we're going to look at some of the cheapest informs by rating as well. Again, if we're investing for SBCs that are going to be 85, 86, 87, or 88 rated, you're going to want to look for informs kind of in that 84 to 86 range, because those are going to be the most commonly used informs inside of an SBC. Any informs that jump out to me right away, stuff that is in this current team of the week, uh, or was in last week's team of the week, like this Mole, Mollet. I don't know how to say that. I don't know how to say this guy's name, but 13,000 coins for this card. Uh, if you can still snag him at 13K, that's not a bad shout. I know he has nothing to do with Premier League, but he's out of packs. He's an 84 rated center attacking mid, so that's not a bad shout right there. Premier League informs though. Where's our cheapest Premier League inform? Yeri Mina is in this week's team of the week. He is in packs though. Tarkowski at 17K for an 84. Not a huge fan of that. Henderson 85 rated at 18K. I am a fan of that. I'm also a fan of the Jorginho right around 20K if you can. Maybe I share be at 19K as well. The informs are kind of harder to predict because you don't all the time need an inform. But, uh, you know, a Henderson like this could be solid for, for an investment as well. 18K for the cheapest 85 rated inform, and it's a CDM from the Prem. I think that might be an undercut because it looks like he's not actually that price according to Footbin because he was listed at 18,000. But then you have um, a bunch of them at 20K. So let's see if I can snag a Jordan Henderson inform under 20K really quick. Because I would like to add one of those informs to my club as a possible investment for player of the month or just for later down the line. 18,500 coins. Sure. I will buy one and throw it in. We will buy one of these and chuck it in the club. GG's. Thank you, EA Sports. There we go. There we go. Two 
Uh, there was two of them there, actually. Interesting. Nice. But all right, so I've got a little high rated investment going on there, and I'm feeling good about that. But again, cheapest players by rating. Look at some of these guys like um, who else would be a possible uh, play, Premier League Player of the Month investment. If you're feeling like maybe Allison's going to win, then maybe you want to look at some of the lower rated cards like uh, Genie Wynaldum. 84 rated Genie Wynaldum. What is he going for right now on the market? Usually he's a little bit more expensive than 84 card just because he is uh, Liverpool and he's uh, very linkable and very needed for SBCs. 4,300 for Genie Wynaldum. Let's take a look at this right now uh, because I wonder how high this card gets when SBCs come out. 4.5K according to Footbin. Looks like his lowest that he usually gets to is 3.8. He goes up to 6.9K though. So this guy was, he, he fluctuates a decent amount for an 84 rated card and he's down here again 4.3k if you can get this guy at like low fours i'm a fan of that uh, but again even if you're just watching this video and you're like i don't think player player of the month is coming on friday do yourself a favor and go through here and just club stock some of these cards if you have not done it already 86s try to get them you know below 15k if you can although some of the center backs you can pay a little bit more for you can see a guy like Scriniar, who is 16,000 coins right now he usually doesn't dip too much below this 15,000 coins and most of the time he's above 18, 19, 20k. So this guy screen ER is a great one uh, for an SBC fodder investment. I think Benucci is as well because uh, he, you know, center backs that are required for squads, right? Because you need chemistry. He got down here to 14k. He ballooned to 20. I think it's very possible that a guy like Benucci uh, just as an SBC fodder investment would be a pretty solid investment for, uh, for this promo as well. I guess one other player that I could shout would be... Um, if I could shout one other player as an investment, it would probably be Gunduan. Gunduan would be another one that could be solid. He rises up a lot with SBCs, but again, he's just kind of like Wijnaldum. You want to see him down in like that 4.3, the low four range. Maybe try to get this guy at 4K or under during rewards. Look, people are mass bidding 4.5K on Gunduan, and you can get him back here at the 59th uh, for 4.3, 4.4K. So this would be a card that I would be definitely looking at during rewards. I'm going to pick that one up and just chuck it in the club so that I am ready for this SBC when it comes. GG's. Uh, and yeah, of course, right when I'm putting this video out, it's a great time to get in on some of these high rates because of the pack supply from Weekend League Rewards. Any other market movements that we could see because of a player of the month? You might see this Aguero sold off a little bit. Um, if there's any Aguero that would get panic sold, it would probably be the record breaker since this would be the closest version to that player of the month when it comes out you can watch the inform as well i think the inform is going for somewhere around like 300k am i correct on that how much is this inform going for footbin is telling me this inform is 271k 271 000 coins for the aguero inform so that's definitely a possibility you see this card drop as well just kind of depends on the price range again if they make this sbc stupid expensive then you probably won't see too many movements but if they make it really cheap then you might see some people selling their agueros to go get that new version of aguero i think it helps that we have this uh sane sbc that is out here as well so if they make that aguero sbc really cheap you might see a few more of these sanes come up you might start seeing a few more of these uh, because people would grind this SBC, especially if you're a Manchester City fan. Um, you might get this card to link it up to the brand new version of Aguero if it comes out. And let me check. I don't know if we're going to get any Manchester City players and future stars. We don't have any from this first set. But it's possible maybe that we get... I mean, we had Phil Foden last year. Not too sure about that. But of course, we have like a headliner Sterling. Uh, we've got the Kyle Walker headliner so there's definitely some city hype i guess kdb has got a team of the year so there's definitely some some special cards from city that people want to buy and link to these cards as well but regardless uh look for some uh high rated investments during rewards today that could be a good shout for a lot of you guys and uh, i think it's going to be either aguero or allison i'm leaning towards aguero though with that sbc being priced somewhere in like the sex 650 650 to 750 000 coin range is where I would put that SBC. And then if Allison comes out, probably like 200K or less. I hope it is at least. Uh, but I think Aguero might be the move and the shout for this week's or for this month's player of the month. Again, I wanted to get this video out for you guys because it looks like it's going to come Friday and I want to get you guys prepared for that. Uh, even though Trent is still going to be here for six days. Again, EA does not decide who when this award is given out. Um, Premier League does. So 
that's my reasoning for that. If you enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace.